What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to pick up where we left off, it looks like we managed we're going to entice two Ottoman armies into a gorgeous river battle. Again, let, you know, with a force led by Amadio Mortier, who's been fighting with us for some time. Um, I'm pretty sure it's this guy on the bridge, because this guy should be too far away and he's not on a road, so there shouldn't be any funky control zone shenanigans. So let's find out. They've got a couple of artillery pieces, a couple of melee units, but, and a lot of cavalry, but we should be okay. So let's bring them in and destroy them. And this is kind of perfect for now, because this is a... River battles have always been quite a surefire way to do large amounts of damage to the enemy, but actually not have any uh, too much attrition to your side. So especially at this moment where we are forging ahead as the Louisianans very, very strongly, it's quite helpful actually. That they've managed to walk into our crosshairs like this, so our gunners... We're going to just fire at the enemy. Got a bugged gun team, that's why they've got so many crew. Both of them actually. Although I might put one of them over here. So let's put three units like so. I always like, th like putting multiple units even though they don't really stack well. Because it means they there's more volleys and the volleys do them uh, do more morale damage. And I don't really want to have. Um, I don't really want them to make it to my line. I am cautiously aware that the enemy could come in from the left, because that has happened in river battles, but I'm not going to really focus on that. And I'm going to put my howitzers in, howitzers in the middle, because they can actually provide a bit of support. Actually, I should probably put you here, because you can cover the forward and then also cover. The bridge crossing itself should they attempt to go that way they never normally there we go nope looks like the enemy reinforcements are coming in from their side of the map which is excellent fire round shot with the howitzers because nothing's really going on So these guns will probably focus on counter-battery for some time, which isn't such a bad thing. To be honest, the gun at the breach will probably do the same thing for a while too. Actually, where is it? Hop back over to here, because we've got some units behind. Yeah, I do have firewall turned off. Let's put the fusiliers on this side. I could run them up and deploy stakes, but meh. Cavalry have never been that much of a concern. So are you within... I doubt you're within shrapnel range. Nope. So you keep firing at the guns. That's what these guys are doing. And again, that's okay for now. But soon we will want them. Yeah, so my line of guards taking a hammering from those guns. One gun destroyed. Oh, that could have been a second one. They were so close. Then when the bulk of these guys start attacking the crossing, we are going to have to retarget my howitzers. Well, that looks like they are actually retargeting themselves anyway, but let's make it official. The enemy cavalry is charging. So these guns... Switch to shrapnel. So they're going to detonate way too early to do anything against the guns. So they're going to need to reload, change to canister shot, and just fire at the crossing so I don't have to manually sort it all out. That should be an excellent quick line. Nearly cut them down to half their numbers. Unless even before my musketry gets involved. All my infantry pop up. Yeah, they've had enough. It's time for the general's bodyguard. Is 
Let them bump into my line, let my keep my infantry fighting as normal. We've got General's Bodyguard crossing over the bridge, which is a turn up for the books. Because that's something they never normally do. So these guys all drop into square. Get these guns to shrapnel shot the raw Mameluke guards. Okay, these guns have limbered up, so if you could hit them, that'd be great, because that's a that's a much bigger target. If you hit, if you just hit with one gun, they'll be destroyed. Plus it's a howitzer, so obviously I don't want their quick climb coming into the mix. Come on, blast them with canister shot. Fire. Fire your gun! Fire your gun! Ooh. Fortunately. Okay, focus on this unit of Nizam. So that gun is still on the move. General's been repulsed. Yep. The Wallachian Boyar. Don't remember them. Let's get my howitzers working on this massive block of troops heading our way. Ooh, good quick climb hit. Even better, even better. Yeah, they're already wavering and haven't even made it to the actual crossing itself. Aim at the Royal Mamluk Guard with your shrapnel shot. With your canister shot, more likely, now. So these guys are going to suck up our first volleys. Oh, caught a good chunk of them off guard there. Okay, how it's a focus on that unit of Semini to prevent them from blobbing to kill us. So this mighty chunk of Ottoman infantry goes over. The Nizam have had enough. Janissary Grenadiers and Feline Musketeers are the next up. How are the guns doing? Are they reloaded? Yeah, canister shots are about to be flying in. Oh, here come the volleys. And the canister shot as well. Killed another enemy commander. Back they go. <laughs> so who've we got here? The 35th. 35th altar and the York. Oh, Azar! Skirmishers! Nice. You're a bit close for skirmishing work. Never mind. Yeah, they've had enough. Such a massive, massive retreat. Some of them will, might come back. Very much depends. Got Unifaline Musketeers coming in. Okay, the howitzers are killed, so our gun crews can focus on the 46th. There's also another, another unit of guns coming in right at the rear. Focus on this unit of musketeers. Quick climb coming in. The Janissaries are coming back. Again, more quick climb coming in there. And they're already upset the Janissaries have had enough as well. Yes. So who's this? General's bodyguard. Is that the general's bodyguard that died, potentially, charging in? Potentially. Uh, he took a bunch of his staff off horses. 
No, I don't think there's a general in that group anymore. Fully musketeers have had enough. Let's aim at the next union of musketeers. All the Wallachian boyar being cavalry, they might stir the pot. Well, they might have my cavalry might have to keep my artillery might have to fire at the the block of men coming in to make sure they don't swarm us. Although, <laughs> looks like swarming might be a bit tricky. Those guns are wavering now. Cavalry's broken. Yeah, so this shows what one unit of cavalry can do to disrupt my operations is now that you know, musketeers actually got fairly close. But they've had enough. See, some of them are coming back for more. There's you know Mamelukes coming in, actually focus on the Mamelukes. Keep blasting them. They need a semi, they probably won't last too long. Canister shot still whipping in. <laughs> Maybe they're still coming back. It'd be a lovely quick line target, but I, I want to try and start to thin out these Mamelukes. That's the problem. Nope, they fired off a couple of musket shots. Nope, they've had enough. So, swapped shrapnel shot, hit the Mamelukes. They're now charging. Quick climb coming in. It's knocked out a handful of them. Oh, the shrapnel shot's down anything early. Try to take him out. They've only lost nine men. They're quite a meaty cavalry unit. The morale's not good, but they've got high numbers. They might make it. No, no, they didn't. Let's try to focus on this unit of musketeers with the guns. I still have enemy reinforcements coming in. Actually, get my howitzers to hit the. Don't worry about the bashi bazooks, they're too far away for now. You guys keep blasting the felly musketeers. So, the problem is, these are like a militia. Militia infantry unit, so even though they've got quite significant numbers and they can do some line drill when it comes to you know, fire by rank and so on, I think they still aren't exactly the cream of the crop. And this gun team here now focus on 24 pounder howitzer coming in. Quickly knocked a real hole in those bashies. Let's make them attack someone else. You can hear Semenes wandering through, you know, over the bodies of all of their fallen comrades. Yeah, they're, they're not happy. But they've not yet wandered into range of... Well, they've wandered into range of this flank. Mamelukes are also coming in. No, nope, they've had enough. Good stuff. So let's speed up time a little bit while the bashies come in. Because right now, to be honest, we've just got a whole load of... <laughs> we've just been dropping a whole lot of pain. And I'm, I'm okay with the large numbers that are routing and aren't being killed because the, the um, you know, the my casualties per getting those kills is really cheap. So I don't mind route, I don't mind them routing and I'm not killing them all because my men are, I've lost a handful of men, so I'm really not bothered. <laughs> Do you want to attack or don't you want to attack? Well... That's what the musket fires for. Wow. 
shrapnel shot the mounted Nizam. Okay, let's get my quick line to focus on this unit of Janissaries coming in. My guns back here have caused the full artillery to rout. Oh no, they're, st they're still coming in. So, comes another cavalry unit, which hopefully we can whittle down. They're mounted Nizam, though, so they're a bit sturdier. Just saw the gunner crouch. This gunner crouched down next to his gun. I'm like, yep, he's he's gonna fire. I aim at this unit of Nizam because they're probably gonna route and come back. Yeah, the 17th. If they break, will come back. Oh, they're forming a new position. Climb hit the Janissary had an auto block. Start to shrapnel shot the Chemat Janissary. To be honest, I might. Now there's no more reinforcements coming in. Let's get this Curassier unit over the bridge. Those Janissary, that hand mortar unit just got obliterated. So this Nizam will hold for quite a while in that block, but as we start whittling their numbers down, <clears throat> firing artillery at them, yep, they're done. I mean, I didn't mean you to come this way, but all right. Get our cavalry ready. And you guys halt. Come on, take him out. <clears throat> well, let's try and get... Mm, just a second, everyone. So you know, as you talk, it feels like your breath just your your um, throat just gets more and more full up with crap and rubbish. Now oh, I don't mind if a good chunk of these get away. We can even I'll even be happy with chewing up some of these chaps. I mean, these guys might get engaged by my yeah by this regiment of line across the river. Yep, they're having enough. Okay, now we go. Artillery cease fire. Okay, yeah. Now we go. You get the Nizam, you get the Janissaries, you guys get... Try to get the Hand Mortars. I mean, you can always you could always um, pick a better time to probably pursue the enemy in river battles like this, but I'm... I'm happy with the level of kills we get. Okay, so the Hand Mortars are not going to work. At least that's a unit of Janissaries and a unit of Nizam that will be annihilated plus all the other damage we've done so I can hardly act like you know, I've been hard done by in this engagement there we go good stuff heroic victory nice even better than than a decisive victory heroic victory there we go 3700 men killed for 217 louisianans not a lot they can do there Yeah, breaking Istanbul is going to be an interesting one because that's going to take quite a few uh, chunks. But pushing on Sarajevo. Well, they're done for. The end is nigh. 
I mean, okay, I'm going to auto that. Because <laughs> it's a similar action. But again, see how many more men we lost. But their army's dead. But see how many more men we lost auto resolving it. Even against a large, even against a um, small force, I'm going to auto that as well. Because they, this Swedish army was already heavily depleted. So. There's no risk doing it. There's not much risk doing it with a heavily depleted army because that way all you know is going to happen is they are going to just they're going to be they're going to be killed rather than um, survive and run around on the campaign map, especially in the east because lots of those armies there don't really have many enemies nearby. <laughs> okay, you're going to be there for a long time. So the Moscow garrison survives. You men, I'm just going to get you on a straight shoot, straight shot to Kiev. Claude. I mean, maybe push west. Upgrade a bit of industry because we know we've got a not money problems, but you know, stuff's expensive. So you guys push. Ah. Oh. Okay, so they've got a a home with the um with the Kremlin incarnate. Well, soon for now they have a room. They have a for now they have a uh, home with the Kremlin incarnate. But lots of these armies in the east can just replenish. You men sail up, collect this army, Horace Fouquet. Have a look at Crimea. Oh, how lovely. And they're going to uh, let us land inside their port as well. That's good. So you're in good shape. Well, these guys are all replenishing, ready for their attack on probably Patras and Athens. I mean, that fight's still ongoing. Push these guys up to help support the Jerusalem fight. Should they sally? Um, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just take Lazar Momont and he can sail and drop his army off. Oh no, we might be at war with the Ottomans. Let's take the city. So where are those Ottoman troops? Oh no, those are these guys by the bridge. Okay, that's fine. Cossack infantry, militia, Azar. Yeah. We can knock them down with the guns we have. Let's take Crimea. That will give us a lot of visibility on um, this part of the world. And we can see if there are any more armies beyond those two Ottoman stacks waiting, you know, in the eastern eastern Ukraine region. But we'll take this city. And I'll probably land the army in Tunis that's in good shape. I'll probably land them in Sicily to try and draw the Austrians out to fight. So, line my guns up, line my howitzers up. So, the units that are going to go in are these guys. Then let's make four company units plus a regiment étranger on the flank, ready to advance. Two colonial like cavalry here, plus the general. That looks good. You men start making our way in. A howitzer unit. Keep quick climbing the centre. Or attempt to quick climb the centre. Well, it looks like the general's bodyguard's going to get a taste of it. Good, we can actually damage the mortars. So there's the reinforcements coming in. Again, it's only a general's bodyguard plus one line infantry unit, so that's okay. Yeah, my artillery is going to make enough ways in. So let's advance some infantry up around one flank of the guns and some infantry up around the other flanks. It looks like they might be attempting to push us. We 
might attempt to try and charge our artillery line to disrupt siege preparations. Looks like that's exactly what they're going to try and do. Right, let's get both the cavalry over on this flank, because this is a dodgy flank. Cease fire. General's bodyguard's been routed. So you guys switch to round shot. You've got a clear field of fire. Attack that set of guns there. That section of the wall. There we go. Get everyone engaging at the targets they're supposed to be. It says the mortars are firing, but I didn't, didn't think we'd be in range. Maybe my men might be in range. Yeah, they are in range a bit. We got, we got away one way in. Let's make another. Two units to quick climb the general's bodyguards. It looks like they might try another sally attempt. Okay, now you guys should be out of range. They should be detonating about here ish. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They're engaging, but they're, we're out of range. Make us another way in. Because one side we can, one position we can quick climb the bejesus out of. Get the 24 pounders working on the general's bodyguard, all my artillery. Reload for shrapnel shot. Howitzers aim for different targets, begin clearing out the breach. Canister shot. Boom! Enemy general's been killed. That's enough of. That's enough out of you! Yep, and they are shattered, and that's their last cavalry unit they can send on a spoiling expedition. But we can start... I mean, I don't mind knocking multiple ways in, because that will spread their pretty poor infantry out fairly wide, rather than allowing them to concentrate it. So speed up time a little bit. I'm looking forward to some quick climb landing in here, clearing out some of these chaps. One unit should be aiming at the fourth. Soon. Well, once we're ready, we're going to start... These guys are probably going to switch to... Um... Well, no, they can still quick climb. This one... Probably keep working on the... Okay, let's separate you out to represent that. Gunners aren't. My cannons aren't shooting again, so make sure we give them the uh, give them the order again. There we go. Off we go. Boom, 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 boom. You're not going to lure me forward to engage your Cossack infantry. It's not going to happen.
good hit. Eh. If you want to kill my men, you're going to have to uh, come out to my range. There we go. We've knocked out a few more mortars. So that should reduce their fire. No, they're not going to push us. So, but this unit of militia might be significantly damaged from being stuck on the wall. There we go, more artillery fire coming off. 96, oh yeah, they're done. They're done. Uh. Maybe keep hitting the flank. So let's get this unit to drop their quick climb more like here. Yeah, we do need to... Because look, they are resolutely defending the flank as well. So we do want to make sure that when we... Ooh, two crew left. Does it mean you realistically can't... Ah, you still can fire your mortar. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're too far. Well, no, they can't be too far. Because these guys still have... They've lost seven of their garrison. But yeah, we're not going to be... Surprised by you. Some artillery is going to work on this corner piece that might hopefully kill a whole chunk of militia, especially if they're stuck like that. Oh, one quick climb unit is focusing on this unit of line that's advanced up way too hot, way too fast. So you killed a canful more crew there, so we can actually do some real damage to their mortars. Hmm. So the men that are on over here, I'm hoping if we can destroy this corner piece, that will draw some of these units into defending that breach. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, that unit just got absolutely smacked by quick climb. Yeah, I, I, th I thought that might do it. I mean, they may as well just focus on our mate. Uh, <clears throat> our regular batteries might as well just focus on the center. You've only got one creamen left. He's not even firing a mortar, so you guys try and. Try and go for the rearmost mortar. You can use round shot, but it's just not as effective. There's a lot. You leave a lot more of it up to chance. <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> ah, coffee. You might leave a, a, a bit more of it up to chance by firing it with round shot, because obviously it does just kind of splat. I mean, in the end, we might not have any choice, but I really am going to try and make it not be an option until we really have to. Because mortars really suck. I think I might not have any choice, really. Round shot. Get them all to counter battery instead. Because that's the main thing slowing us down. We've abandoned the uh, this section of the wall, but hopefully you might have trapped a firelock on populace. I mean, these guys aren't dangerous, but it's just there's so many of them. I mean, there's not many units defending the the front now. So really, we might not have a choice. We can soft, we can keep softening them up, but it doesn't really help us as much as we want it to. You guys might advance more like this. Because once that corner piece has been weakened... I 
Once that corner piece has been destroyed... No, I doubt they'll fire at the men at the back. No. Will they fire at this unit? Right at the back on the wall. Yeah, keep lobbing shells at shots over at them. I'm not bothered how many holes in the wall I make. To be honest, I could, potentially. Suicide a light cavalry in to try and knock them out quickly anyway. In which case then, retarget. The units clumped together at the breach. Because the 15th light horse. We're going to make their mark. And then you guys can... Take up sort of defensive positions inside. Yeah, my cavalry is going to sneak in and take out the mortars. That means you guys can advance up to the breach. You guys can advance up to this one. Yeah, they're suddenly going, shoot! Get the cavalry, other cavalry in. Okay, you men run in and secure that flank. You guys, to be honest, a lot of these units can actually just push in. Cavalry in again, or further up. I mean, we've started the ticker. But I want the cavalry to be, the infantry to be set up so that we can just kill this. I mean, is this how it's, is this really how it's going to be? You guys hit the sixth to prevent them from getting up to too many shenanigans. Okay, how about you guys take up these positions? You men cease fire. I mean, okay, you guys actually run over here to block that entry. I mean, it looks like they might make it just that simple. Let's line up on the square like that. So we're moving a few more of our cavalry away from directly behind this unit of infantry. <laughs> yes, these men are serving as a blocker for men coming off the wall there. I mean, is this... what? 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 I mean, I know I love a sneaky attack as much as anyone, but oh my god. I mean, that's it, look. <laughs> How dumb is that? <laughs> How dumb. That's a really dumb city battle right there. I mean, I'll take it, but... Yeah. With prejudice. So those ships going to disappear. Bloop. There we go. Forest for Kate. Replenish. Do you have a school? You do. University. Knock it down. Let's get some better roads. So apart from these Ottoman forces here, there's a Swedish army there, Swedish army in Kiev. Ready for You're marching down to here, Maximilian Mortier. I mean, I might just demand the surrender of Iassi, because they have no garrison. Oh, very well. I'll hold the, I'll hold the city for now. Because you, you are getting a smidge overextended. Your, none of these armies are in a condition to 
advance too much. You can push in an auto that fight there. Yeah, against the weak cavalry unit. Lost a bunch of men, but doesn't matter. So you men advance, ready for next turn, where we're going to jump on Minsk. Can you guys actually leave Lithuania? You can. Yes. Immediately. Getting ready. In which case, you're just going to prevent them from breaking up to the east. You guys just hightail it towards Minsk as well. This get our spy on the way down to Bulgaria. I mean, my god. We really do have just absolute dominance. Attacking the, the Balkans might not even be possible anymore. Because we've got so many armies pushing in. Although... Oh, you, yeah, you get it. A couple of militia. Push an army down the west coast of the Balkans there. Let's push yeah, that weak Austrian navy out at sea to fight my full stack. Lost, they lost all of their ships and we didn't lose a single one. So you go hit this Ottoman force here. Our nation rules the sea. And put into Marshall slot for repairs. <clears throat> so we're going to take this army, build some sloops for transport. Yeah, upgrade the dockyard may as well. New men are nearly completely ready to take the war towards the Italian states and their completely weak source infantry. New men are going to push on Sarajevo. To be honest, I may as well just fight. I can fight the battles of Moldavia and Sarajevo. You, good sir, after winning those battles on the river, are going to push east. You and Medeo Mortier are going to advance to here, not up to the bridge, not onto the bridge, but just advance. Just bottle them up. You men can leave Hungary and go try and support Mr. Mortier. These guys have armies coming in from the rear to help out. I mean, I might auto-resolve that, because it's just mostly irregular troops. Undaunted. Undefeated. I mean, irregular troops, they'll just take a, take a few volleys and then flee. But at least here in Sarajevo, well, that's right, Sarajevo is the same as well. Again, it's just a bunch of irregular troops, and that's just not fun to fight against. Doesn't matter, We've got play we do have proper battles coming up. To be honest, then these guys might end up sailing to attack Cairo then to the rear. We're going to need more troops pushing in to squash um, Istanbul. I mean, I'm surprised they're still so chipper. Ah, Swedish fleet, eh? Too bad you don't get any trade for it. Smash. Ready. So who have we got? Another Swedish fleet. This was your trade zone, was it? The sea is ours. Let's bring those ships into service to just sit on a trade zone. They will likely be immediately attacked by... Ooh, who are you then? Two clusters of Ottoman ships. Again, just push on. Take them out. Oh, they're going to draw in the Swiss fleet behind them. Draw them all in to our fleet. Ooh, all retreat the same direction, please. Yes, my lord. sir. sir. And then you guys sail south. Push in and just hit that Austrian fleet. We rule the way. Yeah, we lost some ships there. But, like I said, we are running into a problem of... Um, a bit of a financial problem. God, just, I, just, I want to auto-resolve that, just to see what happens. We might lose. Oh, but we did not. Sunk. Sunk. 
fled, fled. Two fifth rates. Yeah, and it might cause us some problems down the line. Well, in here, but I don't really, I don't mind. Fundamentally, we are doing pretty well. And we've got a lot of firepower surging towards Kiev. And onward to Minsk. Letter demands from Moscow, yeah, but you're okay since we've knocked down your school. And we're going to rebuild it with a church school. You're still pushing up towards Archangelsk. Two turns. So in terms of upgrades... You put upgrading. I've definitely gone infantry heavy. Well, army heavy in this campaign, but that's chiefly because we did fight um, in India off the bat, which meant that we kind of didn't really have a choice. If we didn't go infantry heavy, you lost. So just keep on upgrading. Fur trapper post here, point of view. Oh well, yeah, and we do have the Austrians. Yeah. Just auto those. They're just they're just but just behind our lines. They're just causing issues. They're not challenge. They're not going to impact the flow of this campaign. Then start to push in from the north. No, actually, keep carrying on doing what we were doing first. Uh, St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg, steam engine factory, Mosul got that. West Prussia got that. So then what I did notice is we do have a fleet or an army here that can... Well, no, he can't be. He's still replenishing. Everyone else is soon to not be, though. So these ships, well, this army here, the Paul Merle, Sir. Cousin Merle, might sail to Athens to see what's going on. Not a lot is the answer to that. But what about the Greeks? Orders received and understood. Ooh, they've dug in a bit. Okay, so if I can, can I take get you? Oh, you're replenishing. You can't quite make it. But I can get Scorpion to pick you up. Which means I can sail you over to here. Take my fleet and sail them over here. Combine them with those guys. Upgrade the trading port. Replenish this. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Repair this. Recru can't recruit anything because it's all broken. Officer on deck. So let's declare war against the Greeks. Just dump your troops yes, there. Aye, aye, sir. Take ready. I cannot do that. Just dump your troops off the coast. If they want to fight, if they want to push and take you out, you, they can try. They don't want to fight us because they've got a fleet of just fifths and galleons. So we might just auto them to annihilate the fleet as is. Don't care where they go. They're a nothing fleet. We might do some raiding. That's okay. Because we raided them. So I could have done that and landed them into the port. And to be honest, I could do that with this army here. But you guys are actually going to hold ground and wait for the final invasion of Istanbul. But I think right now the, end, the name is to hit and turn because we're not in range of anywhere. 
I do want to bring you guys in to help fight these two Ottoman armies. Right, the Greeks are still being the, the Ottomans here are still being sieged, so they're going to either they need to make the choice: do they sally or do they not? You guys up here, we're waiting for one more army to finish replenishing, and then we can push onto the Italians. So let's hit in turn. And um, we've also got Iceland to take out as well. <laughs> Iceland all the way up there. Yeah, the Austrians can they can get up to shenanigans if they like. Don't really care. Blah, 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 blah. It'd be a problem if we weren't dominating their homeland. At the very least, we've knackered their ability to earn resources from this trade zone. To be honest, even then, they probably weren't making that much money because we now have all their um, ports. So I guess it's kind of like bald men fighting over a comb, I suppose. Although, now they do have Italy. <laughs> you can be ra you can be raidy and cheeky if you like. Yeah, we do have an army in England being ready, being built up to defeat Iceland. The Austrians are going to come over and frantically try and steal our technology. It's not going to work. So let's see what the Ottomans do. Although based on their previous performance, I might chop the recording here and bring those back when something happens. So see you in a second, everyone. And in classic Ottoman style, they've sent a small force up to try and do some raiding, and it's in, within interception range of my armies. And I'm going to have to fight it manually, because I don't want to uh, deplete my forces any more than they already are, because we're on, we've are on we got quite a good, a good bit of momentum going, so I'm just going to quickly take out this small raiding force here. Classic Ottomans. All they do in all of my campaigns is just interfere and screw, screw me up. They're always up to no good. Gah! Oh well, the end will be swift for them. Boku artillery. Boku infantry. Too much infantry, they can chill out. And allons-y! Let's let my... All my R2 is going to open up against this poor unit of full artillery, but it looks like there is some hidden troops there. Let's speed up time. Fundamentally, just got to run in, mop them up, make them rout. Jobs are good in. There you go, storm up. Don't care about bashy bazooks at all. But let's just hit them with a good old quick climb, get all my artillery to hit the Mamelukes to the rear. mean they're creeping so maybe I ought to run it into line like so oh that's they're gonna be creeping a bit slower now oh thank you for sw for swerving because that means we will get some shots off at you oh no routing so they're not gonna bother Yeah, there they go. The Zars are going to sit just out of musket range. Although actually they have advanced into range. Got all my howitzers and all my artillery focusing on the Mamelukes. Yeah, the flanks. Now flanks crumbled. The Zars are soon to be 
out of this world. I mean, my heart has just completely ignored my wishes to attack the Mamelukes, but they've routed anyway. Devils. Devils, devils, devils. So that's them taken out, throwing the loss of 53 men. Falling back towards Klausenberg, which again is quite... These guys really are just going to run to Baghdad. Well, let's see if I can run an army around to try and... Um, get them onto the, the bridge and try and trick them into a river battle. I mean, I wonder if the Ottomans here are actually just really paranoid about a rebellion. Potentially. Potentially they are. I, mean, I know they're all swarming because they've got nowhere else to really send their troops. <laughs> I mean, I think I think they're just the AI is just pretty much doing okay. Um, let's look up on this table of how screwed we are. And they go, why is it all red? Is there no green? You no, know, there's no green on this table anymore. And what doesn't help them is that we've, we have just landed in Greece. Because it means that they can't even retreat to the safety of uh, Athens and kind of hold out against the flank. Uh, you're going to auto that. We are okay, it lost us more men than we would needed to lose, but uh, who, who gives a turkey? This garrison's going to be pretty depleted. Ooh, Sweden has advanced on us. Yes, we are going to fight that, but we're pretty close to the end of the episode. What I'm going to do is end the episode here, and then in the next episode, we'll destroy the Swedish force, because I think that means they've left um, this territory here fairly weakly defended. So if we do a good damage, good amount of damage to these guys, we should be pretty good, in pretty good shape. But most of the main troops are actually quite depleted, so nothing to worry about. But yeah, I'm looking at the timer. I'm going to end the episode here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the destruction of this Swedish force and the continuing domination of the Louisiana army. Cheers, everyone.